In the good old days of yore, when King Happiness ruled the world, and the fairies ruled the Emerald Isle, three fairy sisters, dance, song, and melody, were beloved by all. Wherever they passed, joy abounded. The battling brook would sing and dance more merrily, and the sun fairies on the glistening waves of the lake would entice them to join their play. But when the moon cast its silvery beams upon the sturdy spruce tree, then all fairyland gathered in the mighty forest to listen to the three sisters and join in their happiness, dancing, singing, and listening to the melodies of the past and present and fantasies of the future. While the fairies of the spruce tree locked the memories of their pleasure into the grains of the silver spruce, night after night, month after month, and century after century, until the spruce tree from root to top were filled with beautiful songs without words, waiting and longing to give expression to their inner nature. Then fate with her inexorable hand waved progress and civilization onward, and mankind's lack of faith in fairyland destroyed their beautiful fairy world, and all that was left was the memories imprisoned in the spruce trees that were silvered by the moonbeams. For the three sisters had whispered to each tree, Treasure our memories to your heart, dear tree. Remember our songs and dances in the silver moonbeams. Keep sacred our thoughts and whisperings, for the day will come when man will turn to you for our dance, melody, and song. And so it came to pass, for Stradivarius finding the moonbeam in its wood and memories in the fairy music in its soul, sought its aid to build his wonderwork. Beethoven, Mozart, Handel, Liszt, Chopin, and Paderewski all found expression in its memories. So also the star phonograph turned to the silvered fruit for the memory pill, the fairy-laden throat of silvery fruit. And that is why the difference is in the tone. Will you not bring happiness to the family through the songs, dances, and the melodies that pour forth from the singing throat of the silver grain fruit in the star phonograph made by the star piano company? <laughs>